Hey y'all, my name's Lisa. Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited about this new journey that I'm on as a content creator, as a business owner. It's been so much in such a short amount of time. Um, as you can see today, I am painting a tote bag. This is a long handled tote bag. It will be available to order in February. So be on the lookout for that. Um, this design is super, super simple. Um, very beginner friendly because I am a beginner painter and this was very simple for me to do. It only required four colors. I will list them all in the description box. The um, paint brand and uh, colors that I use. Also the fabric medium that I used because I did mix it with a fabric medium so that you can wash and clean your tote bags without worrying about messing up the design on it. Um, so basically what you see me doing right now is I'm starting off in the mountains. I am going to change the color later on towards the end of the video. But right now I'm using the Burnt Sienna and um, to do the, the filling of, if you will, I don't know if that's what you would call it. But the outline is with the chocolate color and then the um, like actual mountain part is a Burnt Sienna. And I changed the Burnt Sienna a little long uh, at the end of the video, like I said. Because I just didn't think it flew well with the colors of the waves. Um, but yeah. But this design is super simple. I found it on online. I can see if I can link it for y'all. Um, it took me about two hours, maybe. Um, and that's only mostly because I couldn't decide which colors I wanted to use. And I couldn't decide like how I wanted to actually do it. But once I figured all that out. It was pretty much smooth selling. Um, but yeah, and uh, I don't really know what to say. I watch so many YouTube videos. Like, obviously, most people enjoy watching YouTube videos and the voiceovers, and I enjoy listening to people talk. And they just make it seem so like effortless, like just another day. I've been struggling with this voiceover thing. This is my probably like eighth time trying to do it, but whatever. It's fine. We'll get there. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to say this now. Thank you all for giving the video a chance, checking it out. I hope that you enjoy it. And I hope you, if you're here to learn um, like paint techniques or just wa enjoy watching paint, I hope you enjoy the video and learn something. Um, but yeah. So let's see. Um, and I painted this a couple days ago. And so I'm trying to remember what all I did. But yeah, I'm just going in with the Burnt Sienna and outlining it with the chocolate. And when you do this, I would advise trying to do the darker like outline as thin as possible. Um, because I feel like it will look a lot better if the lines are thinner. And I actually, I don't know if I already did it or not, but I went over the, the two inner lines on the left. And try to make them thinner just so, so they can look a little bit more realistic. Um, when you want to go for realism, it's the very, very tiny details that makes the um, biggest difference. And so definitely if you give this a try, try to get the outlines to be as thin as possible. Um, and the dots is the same thing, the chocolate. I will say also, I think I would have preferred using like black and gray for the mountain, but I think in the end it looks pretty good. So here we're going in with the darker blue. I believe I used navy um, in the blues. I only used two blues. I used like a navy blue and I think it's called like Arctic Ice, which is a very beautiful light, soft blue. Um, and I just kind of mixed those whenever I needed to get like a fading color if you can tell i have no idea what i'm talking about in regards to like paint techniques i just like i'm self-taught and i've been figuring everything out on my own and i've just been going with the flow and so yeah what i did to fade the colors or whatever um i used the darker blue and the arctic um ice i think it's called arctic ice i'm not sure I, sh I probably should have did the voiceover when I was next to my paint so that I could talk about it more appropriately. But of course that makes too much sense. So yeah. Um, I got the blues going. And you 
really want to make sure that wherever you want it to kind of look reflective of the sun that you make it lighter there and i really enjoy painting water for that reason because that reflective look is just so beautiful to me and those are my favorite painting videos to watch when people do anything revolving like the ocean or lakes or rivers i've actually painted a river one other time and it was so much fun i really enjoy painting water i think that's my favorite thing so far and like i said i'm still a beginner so hopefully i can you know like i said pass on some of my techniques to y'all because i'm still figuring it out so whenever i figure stuff out i'll definitely let y'all know and bring y'all along with me i started painting back in october so yeah but water is definitely my favorite thing so far okay and so y'all probably heard um a child screaming over the uh, last bit of clip well the last couple of seconds just now that was my three-year-old i promise you she is okay um i actually stopped doing the voiceover to check on her she's fine she just wanted to play with her cousins but they weren't allowed to play at that moment because their mom was trying to clean but i promise you she's okay she's just very um theatrical and she's very expressive so she's she's a bit much sometimes but um she's great and i love her but anyway so now i am back home and i didn't want to redo the initial part of this voiceover for the 20th time it feels like so i just decided to keep moving forward because sometimes in life you know you might get those bumps in the road but you just gotta keep going so anyway um i did put text over the video to edit it's not the espresso brown i mean it's not the chocolate brown but the espresso brown um that i used to outline the mountains um and i used arctic blue and navy blue for the water um and whenever i was fading it as you can see it goes from like the darker to the lighter i just mix the navy blue and the arctic blue together and that's how you got those different shades of blue and i guess that's another reason why i love painting water so much because it's it's very very simple and it's the simple things that just makes it look really nice i know some people like to put kind of like streaks of white in when they're getting those like reflective areas um but this this worked perfectly fine with me the navy blue and the arctic blue and so i appreciate how it turned out um as you can see i focused kind of like when the wave like the more inner part of the wave because that's where the sun like hits it and so that's where you get those lighter areas um i liked doing like the dark and then gradually going in with the lighter colors on a lot of videos you'll see that people just paint the entire wave with the darker color and then they go back in and add like the whites and the lighter blues and everything um but i didn't want to do that because it just doesn't work for me so you have to find what works for you and you also notice i shift the camera i am still adjusting and getting used to painting with this setup that i have now and so i'm promised to be more mindful about where everything's positioned at and the lighting and everything i edited a bunch of stuff out but i kind of fumbled with the lighting a couple of times because i'm trying to still figure out what's best and so um but yeah, I'm figuring it out so things will be better and I will be more mindful about where the back positioning is. Uh, but yeah, I'm just continuing the wave up along the outline. And I do use an outline because like I said, I am a beginner. And I I mean I guess I could freehand paint. I have done it a couple times, but when it comes to like product that's going to people, I would rather it look like I would rather use an outline. And it come out like great versus me not using the outline and it's just okay so that's why i use the outline and i definitely prefer that way but of course if you can freehand you got the skills do it you know maybe i'll try it one day but i didn't do it today <laughs> um so yeah i'm just going through with the the arctic blue and you kind of will see at some moments that it's not the navy blue or the arctic blue and it's kind of like a 
like I have a medium between the two that's when I mixed it on the palette and then transferred over to the bag but yeah so that's all that we have here um I will say that this is something that really shouldn't take two hours I know I said it took me two hours to do but like I said most of that was me contemplating what colors to use and what te techniques I was going to use this one's very very quick like you just only have like a short amount of time to paint whether it's because you have like work or kids or whatever this is definitely something you can do very quickly um and still get all of the relaxation that you get from painting at least that's I, I feel relaxed when I paint um definitely a stress reliever and it's very calm and just chill you can just kind of forces you to sit and just be patient because you can't really rush it even though I paint pretty fast I think in comparison to some other artists but you know it's whatever we're all different that's the beautiful thing about it like there are some people with this um they would consider it to look awful because it's not realistic enough um like hyper realistic artists they focus on the super super minor uh well i guess major details and they make sure that every you know little thing is there to get those hyper realism but that's the beautiful thing about like i said art we're all different and we do what works for us um and i think i'm like i said i'm finding my techniques and hopefully y'all enjoy them and go give it a try i encourage you to paint today Take the time, go to Dollar Tree or Walmart, get some paint and some brushes in. Just sit and paint, you know? You might like it. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so that's, I just followed the same technique um, in all the water spots, making sure that I had the lighter areas, areas for the, for the sun would reflect, and again being mindful where the camera is um yeah there really isn't much to explain as far as with this painting if you're learning like you're watching this to learn um just i recommend looking at a reference photo oh okay so here this is where i had started on like the foam tops i'm not sure what the top of waves are called so we're gonna call it foam um the foam i had started on it but the blue was still very wet and it was um mixing and so it, it wasn't working out so you do have to wait for it to dry i have a small neck fan you could use a ceiling fan a hair dryer whatever to speed up the dry times i just use my small neck fan that i have to dry it probably took like 10 minutes um to just get dry enough that i could do the the foam tops and that was very very straightforward you just fill it in fill in the outlines um but i definitely recommend looking at a like a picture for reference that will help you a lot and that's actually a tip that i learned from another artist on youtube and i don't remember which one because i binge watched a bunch of videos and just absorbed as much information as i could um but yeah that was a, a big thing don't try to paint from memory because it might not work out funny story actually I tried to look at a painting and then recreate it without looking at it again and it was a humongous fail if I try to remember or if y'all remind me in the comments I will post it on Facebook which is Code Creations um, same name and everything and I'll I'll paint the reference photo and then what I came up with <laughs> off of memory it was so bad it was it was awful like the painting wasn't awful but in comparison to what I was like supposed to paint and what I ended up painting it was a hot mess but it's fine because I mean it was still a nice it was a nice little piece it just I misunderstood the assignment and it's fine but yeah so we're just <laughs> we're just doing the foam tops um and I repeat, and I realized at this point, and I guess you can kind of see me contemplating it, I didn't real like I didn't think through how I would see like the foam like rippling or whatever. But I liked how I looked at the bottom with the like blue 
kind of the very very light blue outline and so I was like oh you know what I'm just gonna do this at the top so that way we can still see the layers because I really I don't know how else I would have did it um I mean I guess I could have used different shades of white maybe um but I don't know this work this worked and if it ain't broken don't fix it so I used this so I outlined um the like layers of the foam top and I let it dry again using my neck fan so that I could dry real quick and then I went over it and I I really like how it turned out because it doesn't it doesn't look bad it actually looks pretty nice I think I could be biased because it's mine but I mean if it looks bad y'all can tell me I have a pretty thick skin I think and I appreciate constructive criticism so if you're like I don't know about that one girl tell me I would appreciate that but I <laughs> I like how it turned out and I think it turned out pretty good so yeah that's what I did I outlined in the navy blue let it dry went over it in the white and it's titanium white to be specifically and again I'm going to list it all in the description box so that you can recreate it because I will say with me binge watching everyone's well not everyone's but like just going on a painting video spree one thing I really really wished was like a list of supplies that everyone used and most videos didn't have everything listed which was kind of frustrating but I mean I figured it out um I mean there's hundreds of thousands of painting videos out there so just watch another video to kind of figure out what you need but I'm gonna make sure that I list everything so even out to my brushes and lighting equipment I'm gonna make sure I list it all so that way if you were in my position and you're trying to figure out where to start with painting or if you just so happen to be starting a business with painting you'll kind of get an idea on where to start and what you need and um so yeah I'm gonna make sure y'all got all that I got y'all um but anyway so I'm just filling in the rest of this foam top for the big top wave um and this was so fun I will say using a bigger brush also would have helped save a lot of time I was using a smaller brush which would probably be better for um like more details like doing smaller details but I was really nervous I guess you could say because I didn't want to mess it up because like I said I wasn't sure on how I was going to do things or what I wanted to do honestly but once I recreate this I'm sure I'll have to at least one or two times I'm definitely use a bigger brush to cover more area more more area okay more area area i guess that's a word i can't say hmm to cover more area at a time and so yeah definitely use a bigger brush to get things going up a lot quicker uh yeah that probably would have took my two hour session into maybe an hour honestly is a bigger brush makes a big difference i feel like i'm afraid to use my bigger brushes i don't know why because i have i think i have a pretty good um paintbrush set i found it on amazon like i said i'll link it and i feel like it's i mean it's pretty good it's nice i haven't had any complaints um but i don't know i just don't like using my, my bigger ones i like to stick with the small ones but i need to branch out i need to be confident in my my skill set because it's not it's not bad as I can say it's not bad I'm saying that as humbly as possible it's not bad <laughs> and sorry that I have y'all upside down if that's frustrating I apologize like I said I'm not used to painting with this camera and even though I don't aim for like perfection per se I did want it to look nice and look as nice as possible and it's kind of hard to see when it's the other way because I 
I'm gonna let me make a note. I'm just gonna make a note of myself of everything I need to do. So that was my pen clicking. Um, so let me see. To make a couple posts so this is me reminding myself so i can show you guys my setup i guess i could do like a behind the scenes type video so that way y'all can see kind of what i'm working with because it's actually pretty far away it's a good distance away like when i'm painting the tote bags are not like right on like in my area so sometimes it's kind of difficult to paint um but here i am going over that burnt sienna with um the espresso and basically all i did was i mixed the espresso with the white to get a a softer shade um and then i covered up the burnt sienna because i just i didn't i didn't love how it looked i feel like it didn't flow together and i feel like the burnt sienna i guess you could say it was clashing i felt like it was clashing i don't know i, I wasn't loving it so i changed it um, after much debate and my three year old, she was like, just do it. And so I did it. Um, and yeah, I like how it came out, but that's pretty much it. After you go over the details, make sure everything looks good. You can do another coat over the white and it'll be good to go. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Columbia, Columbia, on metric signs, it brought me up, brought me up, can't trust my